guys, how are you? All right, so I got back from a trip recently and I was very inspired by a video I saw before I left um, on Instagram um, where an artist had created her own sort of coloring book and um, she was coloring in it with, I think with pencil. I'm not actually sure. Um, I only know that she created the um, design for the book with India ink. Um, I don't know how she did it. I don't, I, that's all I know. Um, it inspired me to make a small one for myself and try it on a recent trip I went to, to Virginia. And I loved it so much. I finished the whole thing and um, it worked really well. I just used, I created the design head and then colored it in while I was gone with highlighter markers, which is something I use all the time in my daily artwork and I love them. Um, and I also brought my daily sketchbook, which we'll talk about in a different video, but it made me think, you know, if I go on another trip like this, I really, I really, you know, I forgot because it'd been a bit that I don't like traveling on trips with 20 tons of art supplies. I do like to bring some art supplies because it's me, but I don't like to have too much. What if I created just a small bag that had the absolute minimum essentials in it that worked for me that I could do either at the hotel or condo or on the plane where things wouldn't go flying if we hit turbulence. Y'all know what I mean if you've traveled anywhere. So the more I thought about it, the more I started making notes. It was, I was making notes for projects while I was gone. Anyway, so I, and then I saw um, there was something in one of the gift shops we went to where they had something that fit over a notebook that held your reading glasses. I thought that was so clever. So I started making notes and I did make a mock-up yesterday. I didn't put the reading glass thing on there, but now that I'm looking at the mock-up, I think I need to cut out a couple more pieces because I'm thinking this is the flap where all the pens are. I'm thinking I need to, sorry, it's a pharmacy. I need to put, I want to put a pocket like here that holds the glasses because it's going to be the first thing I'm going to have to take out to do any work because I'm, you know, 60. And so, you know, so if we have something here that holds the glasses, it doesn't have to be a very big something because my glasses aren't that big. Um, then we have the pens and then we have a zipper pocket, but I also could leave it as is and just put the glasses in here. It does make me think. Okay. Um, so other than figuring out the glasses thing, this actually works really well, even if I don't put the glasses thing in here. Um, so we have the pockets on the outside for all the essential pens and markers. If I wanted to bring a tiny little watercolor pan set, I do have some little mini ones. It would actually fit in here. And there is a small watercolor journal in here. And if I didn't have one, I could make one out of some paper. Um, and I could put one water brush in here with the pens. That would work great. And then I'm able to fit three, with a little bit of breathing room, small journals in here, including a bigger version of the coloring book, a small watercolor journal, and a writing journal. So now that I'm pretty happy with the mock-up, I just need to figure out if I wanna put the glasses case on here or not. And then, um, we are gonna make some, make one out of proper fabric. I'm not gonna get rid of this one, it's actually cute. I'll put it in the closet and maybe I'll use it for something at some point, maybe I'll give it to a friend, I don't know, but it's just a mock-up, so. But I'm gonna make one out of proper fabric. We're gonna do a little bit neater job at it. Um, the copy of my notes and the pattern pieces will be available to my patrons and supporters. So if you want a copy of it, something besides this tutorial, um, the link that is down in the video description is fairly reasonable and it helps support the free content here on YouTube and I really would appreciate it. All right, let me think about the eyeglass thing and I'll be back. Okay. You're gonna need some kind of thickish fabric for the outside. I chose this, which is a canvasy type fabric I had printed a long time ago at Spoonflower. And then you're gonna need some kind of um, fabric for the lining. Now, if 
your outer fabric is kind of thin, you're gonna to want to add some interfacing and give it some body. Um, especially if you have like a thin quilting cotton for the inside and the outside. I would recommend something a little heavier for the outside, denim, um, canvas, duck cloth, um, something along those lines. And then um, you're gonna need some interfacing, thick interfacing for the two outside pen pockets and the flap um, to give it some body to really help hold the pens um, securely. If you've ever, you know, been flying and you've had stuff on your tray table during turbulence, you don't want things going flying because you might not get them back. So, yeah, I mean, you know. Um, so this piece is about seven and a half by ten. And this is the main body of the purse, the purse, the pouch. Then we have two outer pockets, a taller one and a shorter one, which are about six by one two three four five six seven six by seven six by six um and then we have a flap because again turbulence and security you don't want to be walking through the airport or on the plane and have your shickle flying i love some of my older art bags which are open but when I'm traveling, I don't like things to, I like it to be closed. I like things to be secure. It's just, it's a thing. So this one is, should be six by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half to here. And then you have an extra inch and a half about up here. And this is, um, I've marked it where I'm gonna sew the vel two pieces of Velcro. And um, on the original, I did sew some stitching lines here so that it folded and rolled a little bit easier because when you have it open and you're working like on the plane, um, you wanna be able to roll the lid, the tuck back. It does elevate this just a little bit, which you don't really need it to do, but most importantly, it just keeps the flap out of the way. Um, I kind of like that feature. That may not be a thing for you. You might not care about that, but I kind of like that it does that. Now on the new, on the next, next version, I'm gonna roll it and add an extra piece of Velcro so I can roll it actually tighter and that actually holds it up a little better. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that so I can roll it. So I don't know if I need to sew those stitching lines or not. I probably will still do it anyway. I also had elastic loops across the front of the pen pouches to start with. I didn't like that. I didn't find I needed them. On the original notes, I had to make pen slots. I don't think you need to do that either, especially if your pockets are stiff enough to really hold your pens in place and or your pens have this little clip thing on there. You can just clip it in place and it, it stays just fine. Um, so first, cut all your pieces out and make sure, oh, you're gonna need a zipper, a short one. Uh, this is about a, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, like a seven inch zipper, and you're gonna need some Velcro. Um, you're also gonna need a few little pieces of fabric like this, which are about two inches by like three and a half inches for either end of the zipper. Um, and I think that's it. I do think, I mean, on the original one, I was inspired by the eyeglass case, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna do that. If I wanna, just put my glasses in the pouch. They fit loose in here like this, but I also just carry them in an eyeglass case and I can, I will have both of those in my uh, bag because I, I'm old, I need these for everything. So anyway, all right, let's get to sewing, shall we? With this pencil pouch, once you've got your pieces of your pattern printed, um, if you are a Patreon, patron, you should be able to just print them. Um, and you have your pieces cut out. Um, we're gonna put the bag lining to the side for the minute. <clears throat> put it over here. And we're gonna work with the outside bag fabric. <clears throat> Again, if yours is kind of on the thin side, um, put some interfacing on the back of this. You could use a sew-on or a fusible, whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, we're gonna put everything on the outside of the bag first, like the pencil pockets and Velcro and stuff. 
and then start assembling the bag. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the two pencil pockets and I am going to put them right sides together. And I'm gonna sew up the two long seams. I'm gonna leave the bottom one open. Then I'm gonna trim this just a little bit so that it'll slide right in and is just short enough that I can turn the bottom under and sew it down. I'm gonna do that to both of these. I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and did the flap too because we're basically doing the flap the same way. Um, so now I'm gonna cut them apart. Put the glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Um, right here, I'm gonna cut this excess stuff off the corner. It'll just help you give get a slightly sharper, nicer looking corner and do that on both pockets. And then on the flap, we want to cut some of this excess off right here. I used a very short, tiny stitch length to give it some more strength. You can sew the interfacing in when you assemble these pieces, but then you have to go back, pull the fabric back and trim away the excess interfacing. I think it's a little easier to do it this way, personally. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my rotary cutter. Ooh, and it's straight edge. And we're gonna cut um, a little bit off of each one. <sighs> I do about quarter inch seams. So let's turn it right side out. You probably won't get it right the first time. And go back and trim a little bit. Just trim a little bit at a time so you get it to fit right. If you trim too much, then that's a problem. Use something uh, blunt point of something to turn out your corners. In this case, I have a big pen in my hand. I also use knitting needles sometimes, the bigger sizes, they work well. Okay, that's pretty good. And let's see if this fits. Cut a little more. Oops, that wasn't very straight. Let's try that again. Okay. Well, that's better. So I'll just fiddle with it until you get it in there. all the way in. Ha ha. Um, once you get it in, we're going to take this end that's open and we're going to turn it under like so. Of course you could press it. I'm, I can't be bothered. And I'm gonna just clip it. Get it as smooth as you can. Finger press it. And then once we get all of them done that way, we're gonna take it to the machine and sew them closed. Like that, there we go. All right, I'm gonna do the other ones, I'll be back. Okay. So, 
And I got our pockets and our flaps sewn. I also went ahead and attached the vel Velcro where it indicates to attach it on the pattern. I marked it. Um, and I will be, these are kind of sloppy, but uh, the pattern for the patrons and supporters will be cleaned up a little bit. I mean, you know. Um, anyway, so then you take your bag body piece, the outside, this is the inside, and lay it out flat, open it up like this. And then we're going to lay out the flap, the pocket, and one more piece of Velcro. Um, now, um, where's my piece? So there will be some um, dots. Well, yeah, some dots on the pattern piece, punch a hole through them, and that'll give you an idea of where to put your piece of Velcro on the back of the um, pouch, which is here. And that's for, my husband's like, what is that for? <laughs> that's for rolling up the flap, and there'll be an extra piece of Velcro on the flap, which there isn't on this one, and stick it right there. So you can lay it down, like that. Um, then I, when I sewed the pockets on the little pocket, I attached this piece of Velcro down here when I sewed it together. And then I also added, a, on, on the one that I'm gonna use, I added a label. And um, I've pinned it all together. So I took, let's see if I can show you. So I took, this is the front and I've centered the flap and the pocket this way on the front, just the front. And I'm making sure that they're also, like I'm gonna sew the flap right here and it needs to be about an inch and a half or two inches from this edge. And then have this be about an inch or so from the edge too. So you're gonna sew down three sides on this pocket through all these layers of fabric, the two pockets and the and this back, the outside fabric. And then on the flap, you're gonna sew straight across here. And then over here, I've also pinned on the other piece of Velcro. And so we're gonna sew that on too. We're gonna do all of that attaching to the outside of the bag before we do anything else. Next will be the zipper. Let me get this sewn and I'll be back. Okay. So before I go any further, I went ahead and made some notes on my pattern piece. So can I remember what I did? Uh, and for the patrons and supporters. Anyway, now we'll tuck this over here because I don't need it anymore. All right, so once you do this part, you should have a piece that looks like this. So we've got our Velcro for the back of the bag here. We've got our flap and pockets. I did, as you see, I did I have these leather tags that I um, heat embossed designs into freehand. So I put one of the leaf ones here in a tag, and then we've got the, these two pockets. So now it's zip time. <laughs> okay, so I have a short seven inch zipper here. And what we're gonna do is I've got some scraps of fabric and they're about two inches by three and a half ish. So you're gonna need four of these. And we are gonna put them right sides together with the zipper in between. And we're gonna sew across here a couple times, then we're gonna pull them back and top stitch. I'm gonna do that on both ends of the zipper. I'll be right back. Okay, believe it or not, we're almost done. All right, so we are going to take the zipper and I'm gonna fold it in half like this. I'm gonna mark the center with a couple of pins. Like that, okay. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back body. Okay. 
Okay, now we're gonna take the right side of the zipper, which is the part with the pull, the pull on it. We're gonna march up, march up. <laughs> match up our center pin on the zipper with our center pin on the bag. And pin that down. And then go all the way to this end. And then all the way to that end. And we're gonna sew it down about halfway to the teeth. Don't get too close to the teeth. You won't have you'll be able to you'll have trouble getting the zipper open. All right, we're gonna do that on one side, then we're gonna do take the zipper, pull it up like this, and do the other side so that we have something that looks like that. All right, I'll be back. Now, what I didn't do with the first one, which made for ugly zipper corners, <laughs> I mean, it's fine, I, you know, doesn't bug me too much, but was trim. <laughs> so after you do this, trim some of this excess zipper tab stuff off. You don't need so much. I also, when I do pockets like this, never remember when you're sewing, doing the final seam, if you should push, push the zipper towards the outside fabric or the lining. I think you should put, push it towards the lining. I pushed it the other way on the first, on the mock-up bag, and it came, again, it came, came out ugly. So we'll do it the other way on this one. We'll see if it works, I don't know. All right, now, lining, lining, lining. Okay, so for the lining, we are gonna take one side of the zipper And we are going to place the lining over the, so it looks like this. And we're gonna sew across, and that way when we sew it and we flip it back this way, all those seams are hidden, okay? So we're gonna do that on both sides. Let me see if I can like clip it and show you. So we'll do it this side. And then when you sew it on the inside of the bag, the bag, the seam will be, um, will not show. It'll be like that. That's what we want. And if I can get my machine in there, we'll top stitch it. But I, I don't know about that. I didn't do it the first time and it doesn't bug me. But I mean, if it bugs you after you get the lining in, you can go over here and you can try and top stitch that before you do the sides. I, I don't know. All right, let me get the lining on. Hey guys, all right. Once you get the lining on, you'll end up with something that looks like this. <laughs> looks a little crazy, I know. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is close up the side seams. Now, when you're doing this, you wanna leave about a three or four inch opening on one of the lining sides. So we're gonna sew, you're not gonna worry about these cutouts right now. We're gonna sew from end to end. And on one side, we're gonna sew from here to here and stop and then sew an inch or so at the bottom and leave that opening because that's how you're gonna turn the bag right side out, okay? All right, let me do that.
Okay, now you wanna take those little cutouts. We're gonna flatten them like that and sew across here. That'll give your bag a little bit of a flat bottom. Now with all Okay, this is the most challenging part. Remember that hole we left? We have to pull the whole bag through that hole. So just take your time, do it carefully. Don't be in a rush, which is funny because I'm always in a rush. And it's going to be fiddly, as you can see. And just take your time and turn it right side out. Before you sew up the inside, and I'll show you how to do that, make sure all your corners are pushed out. You saw me trim these. And this little zipper tab, push it towards the lining when you're sewing the side seam. Just checking to make sure I got it all. Everything looks okay. And it does. Cool, all right. So it all looks good. Zipper looks good. I do kind of wish I, I, I kind of want to top stitch this. Am I gonna be able to get in there though? That is the question. Maybe, maybe. Okay, let's sew the lining closed first. So just pull the lining out as far as you can. And you can sort of finger press the raw edges to the inside. If you wanna pin it or clip it, you can. I happen to have a couple clips, so we'll use them. The bigger you leave your opening, the easier it will be to turn the bag, but, 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 the harder it will be to turn closed. Now, you can also cut your lining instead of in one piece, cut it in two pieces and leave an ex put an extra seam allowance along the bottom, like maybe a half an inch, and then leave um, the majority of that open and then sew that closed. That might work better for you. I'm trying to get this flat as possible. Okay, let's get this sewn. Maybe, someday, okay. So you could leave it at that. I do kind of want to see if I can top stitch the zipper. So for that, I'm going to take the free arm off of my machine. And let's see if I can do this. Because I have no idea. Mm-hmm. 
prototype bag, new bag. All right, so let me load it up. Now, the pocket doesn't fit a lot of big journals, um, but it um, can fit some little ones. And honestly, when I'm traveling, I need to not bring big journals anyway. But if you want to um, carry, use this for a bigger journal, you want to, um, number one, probably use a longer zipper, but also the obvious is lengthen the bag a little bit um, to accommodate the journal size that you want. So I'm okay with having to sort of wiggle them out. That's okay with me. And the other one was like that too. Okay, pens. You have a couple of extra small things you want to bring maybe it's a water brush maybe all your pens are right here but you want to put the water brush inside maybe it's an extra pen that you don't normally use i have a couple of souvenir pens i think for now i want to keep in here and they just fit in like that and there we go i mean and that fits easily in my backpack or a small handbag or whatever and this is much smaller and lighter weight to carry than other things I've carried before so travel journaling bag you also could I should say use some of the front pockets for pens but you could put little pouches of ephemera in the other ones um, if you're doing collage and then make sure when you put your journals inside that you leave room for like a glue stick um, but yeah I, I really Virginia inspired me to make this bag and I will make the pattern available as soon as I can uh, for, to my patrons and supporters. It will also be in my Etsy shop for sale if you want to buy it. Um, but um, become a patron or supporter because I often um, come up with things like this and I share them with them. I share travel things with them and in real time, um, we have a private Facebook chat and we have a private YouTube channel. Um, so um, think about joining the patron, um, my Patreon, sorry. My brain is everywhere at the same time. Anyway, cause I'm, this is, this is cute, this is cute. Anyway, all right, that's it for today. Um, think about making yourself a bag, um, have some fun, take your art with you. I use it for therapy, especially when I'm stressed and traveling, I enjoy, but it also stresses me out. So anyway. Uh, that's it for right now. Go out and have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make a bag. All right, that's it for now. See you in the next video.